What's up, Dice Crew? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Now, look, we got a reaction we finna go through. We got Paul P. speaking on Spider Low. You know, he had a clip that went out, and I had actually uh, stumbled across and seen Spider Low getting the comments myself, right? And I was wondering where that was gonna go to. And um, Spider Low had actually left like two comments, right? So we're gonna tune in and see what Paul P. got to say about Spider Low. I'm gonna keep it a Benji for y'all doing my reaction. Y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. And shout out to the Dice Crew and shout out to the sponsors. Y'all are down bullies. Go over there and check them out. Go get y'all an exotic Frenchie or an exotic bully. And I'm gonna have a link in the description so y'all can tune in with them. Let's rock. Oh, uh, uh, appreciate the comment though, but uh, makes sense. Uh, this is refer. This is coming from Paul P. On getting stabbed multiple times by gang in Hollywood and surviving after two. Okay. Uh, this is from. Oh, this is. Is this from actual Spider Lok most East Seven? Yeah, that's him. Okay, this that's is the, like actual Spider Lok. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Spider Lok. Uh, you don't know me. Nothing I've been through, but you got my name in a title with hood politics. You know absolutely nothing about. How does that make sense? With even your own logic, um, yeah. So I'm guessing it is the actual spider log. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this this is what I say to address that really quick. First and foremost, I got nothing at all against against spider log. In fact, uh, uh, I know you've been in the space on YouTube for a while now. You know, speaking and, and, and talking and, and um, um, also reacting to a, a, a lot of different things. You've been doing it for a while. I know. I know. I know. I, the other dude, I didn't really know, but I do know of what you do on YouTube and everything like that. And I respect what you do. So I just wanted to address that. You know, I know there's issues when it come down to, to, to you and a bro. I know that from sitting here and, and hearing certain things and names, even that clip right there. I know there's issues, but when it comes down to me, I'm my own man. I got nothing but love for the bro, but I'm my own man. I got nothing at all against you. Not one thing, right? When it comes down, this is what people need to know. When it comes down to the, the the titles and the and, and everything that's being posted, some of it I do, but I don't I don't post everything. I got people that's working, marketers in the background that's putting up titles and putting things up all the time. It's not always me. You see how many subscribers we got, right? So obviously we're at a place now where we can't do everything. So when it comes down to titles and stuff that you see, don't always think that it's coming from me. You know, we got a team here. So, so, so you thinking and just putting it on me saying that, oh, why are you putting my name in the title? You can ask the question, uh, hey, did you put this? And then if I did, I could tell you why. Now, you know, <clears throat> I respect the fact that Paul P and they podcast have grew to where they need a team and they have a team and, you know, they working together. However, it's not really like Spider Loke don't have to ask if you put something in the title because it is your podcast. You know, when you like the boss or the main uh, face or whatever it may be, the leader of your platform, then most people are going to look at you like, hey, maybe you should uh, um, double check or, you know, just at least get an approve. Like when people do what they do, you know, just double take on that stuff. Like just tune in and see what they saying or seeing what kind of titles they putting out there just so you don't have to be uh, held accountable. Because when the show platform, maybe somebody else can do something or not, but people going to always still hold you, you know, uh, accountable because you the face of it. You know, you the leader, you the spearheader. So. That's one of the reasons why, like, when people used to get upset with Adam22 over at No Jumper for making Instagram posts about certain stuff, he started making them put their hashtag, not their hashtag, but their at and their name at the bottom of any post made on the No Jumper uh, platform, Instagram-wise. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, it is No Jumper posting it, but you know who's directly posting this content because we work as a team. But when it comes to putting titles on something, you know, you can't obviously, you know, you, I mean, you can, but that's just, you know, people probably wouldn't put nobody name or signature or whatever or at under a title. But, you know, I definitely understand what Paul P is saying. But, you know, when you the face of something, you're going to always be held accountable for it. That's first and foremost. Understand and know that we have a team here. So it's people that's putting up stuff all the time. Me sometimes, but we have a team of other people who do it too. Now, that's that. Second, I can't help what somebody say about you, bro. I 
I can't help it. If, if Cowboy or Bompton or uh, 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 Yellow Hill or anybody come up in here saying anything about somebody, yes, your name may be in the title because they talked about you. <laughs> and, you know, I agree with that, too. You know, like if somebody speak on you, um, I mean, if somebody show up to your platform and you're doing a sit down or an interview or whatever the case may be and they speak on somebody, by right, you know, those individuals they speak on is going to probably be in the titles, you know, and you also can't help who people speak on, especially when you trying your best to run like a non-biased uh, platform. What do you want me to do? Like, like oh, man, everybody who go on Vlad, Vlad is asking about everyday topics, yeah. whether he talking to Boosie. Rather you're talking to Eric Spears, rather you're talking to anybody. And people names be in the titles all the time. You know, but like I said, people, they come to us on this podcast because we black young men and they have something to say to us about it. They now, you know, I don't know what people be thinking because I'm not in their mindset. So maybe it is because Paul PNM is black or maybe it's not. Or maybe it's because, you know, if his platform have reoccurring guests that's on the other side of the fence pertaining to other individuals then people might have more of a distaste for you because you're not like too much of a friend for spider low you know what i mean like you more of a friend to other individuals podcast wise that don't really rock with spider low so when you give them a platform and they be able to expo expose things or not really expose things but just expose how they feel and, and comment and, and express themselves, I should say, then, you know, people might find that more irritated situation, right? But on the other hand, I felt like Spider Lope was on no jumper and Adam 22 made some clickbait about him. He said that Spider Lope calls in and talk about his fight in the projects, which was a clickbait that was a lie because Spider Loke didn't call Adam 22. Adam 22 called Spider Loke. But also, when it comes to the street politics and stuff like that, I felt like Spider Loke shouldn't really have no uh, full breakdown about what took place in the streets of a situation when it comes to talking to Adam 22. Now, he got the right to go about it however he wants to, but I don't feel like a person like Adam 22 just needs to get a full on detail for detail or a backstory for why certain stuff occur when it's supposed to be, you know, street business. That's just my opinion. But, you know, y'all can let me know how y'all feel about it, Dice Crew. And now, oh, we getting involved with street politics and everything like that when that's not what we doing. You know, at the end of the day, somebody says something about you. Your name is in the title because of that. They are talking about maybe street politics or whatever it is. And that's where it ends. Yeah, yeah. It don't go no further than that. So when it come down to it, and yeah, hopefully you see it like this going forward. And just and you on um I, I saw some of your stuff on Street TV. Y'all talk about people all the time. And their names yeah. is in the titles. The titles. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what's gonna get clicks, you know? And if you're talking about somebody's name, hey, you have a right to put their name in the title. Yeah. So it have nothing to do with anything else. You've been doing this for a long time, bro. Maybe because the clip, the clip did go somewhat viral. It got, yeah. It's probably at like 30K right now when it come down to that clip. So maybe he saw it just going off yeah. and, and he feels some type of way about it. But that's the game. I mean, this is YouTube. If people, I didn't saw people react to, to my stuff and even put my name and stuff, you know, uh, 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 already in the game. And hey, I'm, I'm not finna go to them and write something or say anything to them. No, I, hey, it is what it is. If, if, I didn't, if, if that mattered to me, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be sitting at a podcast if that mattered to me. And you're a part of the media, spy, me, uh, media spider Low. Me you're part of the media. Content creator. So you got to understand this happens. You should, I would expect you, and I'm going to just say it off for, for this fact. I would expect you and people like Nina Boy and others to understand being in the media and always doing reaction videos and everything like that, like that your name may get involved in certain titles. Your name may be talked about by certain individuals. You should understand that better than anybody that's in this space or not in this space. That's all I'm saying. So uh, hopefully you got your, 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 your answer, whatever it is for me saying that. You know what I'm saying? But I hey, appreciate you commenting. Appreciate you watching the podcast, man. I dare you watch. So I appreciate that, man. Straight up. <laughs>
All love, all yeah, love. Even if, even if his name is in the title, I mean, that's a good thing. It's more cloud for him. You feel me? Nice. I mean, don't you want to blow up? <laughs> don't you, you know what I'm saying? Don't you want everybody to be talking about that? That's what's going to make you get bigger. You feel me? So, I mean, but not only that, um, it's definitely no beat because we been fucking with Spider Low. Fucking with his Fuck with his music says way back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah Spider Loke is an we actual. We grew up actually listen to your music, bro. He's like, an actual real. artist. You know, yeah, the, he's an actual artist. Uh, other than no real, disrespect, real but you know, it wasn't no music. You know, but you're an actual artist. We actual know, artist. We know you real. was with G Unit and all of those man. other things, man. So real like, listening to you. People got to start separating right. things, man. No matter what, I could, I could be, I could. And you know, just to like speak on that too, like. uh I mean, you know, Spider Loke have definitely been in the game for a long time, you know? And I don't think a lot of people understand that, but Spider Loke probably been in the game for like 20 years or something, you know? Could be longer than that. But he definitely got a whole backstory when it come to being um, a public figure. Grown man and sit with somebody who you may look at as an enemy or anything. You're an actual artist. We actual know, artist. We know you real. was with G Unit and all of those man. other things, man. So, real like, listening to you. People got to start separating right. things, man. No matter what, I could, I could be, I could be a grown man and sit with somebody who you may look at as an enemy or anything like that, and it shouldn't matter when it come down to it. In fact, I would ra rather bring individuals together, but because an individual that sit at my table, I'm doing an interview with, say something about you. People need to stop looking at. Everybody at that table and count them all as ops and enemies. We got to stop that, man. Somebody sitting at the table with somebody and they mention my name in a negative way. I'm not never now going to say, oh, that person is the enemy of mine, too. And they'll have something against that person. Yeah. We got to stop that. That's what we're doing in our community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we, that's something that we got to really, really stop, man. If, if two people need to resolve their issue, that's between you and that person. Y'all figure that out, you know? But you can't involve other individuals. You know, because it make you feel bad or hurt your feelings or that person, you know, uh, uh, sitting with them. That part don't matter, man. So yeah. I just want to mention that. In the media space, that's going to happen. Exactly. It's going to happen.